We're in the current National Horse Racing Museum on Newmarket's High Street next to the Jockey Club rooms in the old subscription rooms of the Jockey Club where the museum has been for the last 30 years and we're in the middle of a project that's going to see us move to a new five acre site on the Palace House site in Newmarket behind Newmarket's High Street where five acres of paddock allow us to combine with the retraining of racehorses charity to have live horses as part of the visitor experience. What's so exciting about this film is you'll see work in progress, be able to fly over the site and see the buildings as they're taking shape. The foundations being dug, the steelwork going up, the roofs being redone. It's really work in progress as we head towards being able to welcome you to the new Heritage Centre in 2016. Well, we've got an amazing collection in the current museum. It's over 8,000 objects, an internationally significant collection, uh, illustrating the whole history of horse racing from the mid-17th century right the way through to the present day. But sadly, at the moment, we're absolutely bursting at the seams. We can only show about a third of our collection. So one of the things we get in the new Heritage Centre is a much larger space to show a broader selection of the museum's unique collections illustrating the history of horse racing. But the crucial thing is that on our present site, we haven't got the space to accommodate live horses, whereas on the Palace House site we're going to have that glory of racing, the thoroughbred, as, in a sense, Exhibit A of the museum. One of the interesting things about Newmarket is it's a, a town that's imbued with horse racing. I mean, there are up to 3,000 racehorses in the centre of the town at any one time. Every morning there are a thousand racehorses up on Warren Hill. We're, in a sense, the world home of horse racing. But if you come after 12 o'clock on a non-race day, it's possible not to see a live racehorse. They're all back in their training yards. What the National Heritage Centre is going to allow us to do is to show off the wealth of racehorses in the town outside the one part of the year when otherwise we can show them, which is Newmarket Open Day, which is one Sunday a year. So it brings that year-long experience of seeing these fantastic animals to anyone who comes to Newmarket. blown away by since taking on responsibility for the redevelopment is the sheer cultural richness of the sport. Horse racing of all sports has been developing in this country since the early 1600s and it really is a pivotal part of our national narrative. I mean, Charles II, whose palace is where we're going to be moving to in the new Heritage Centre, you know, he re-establishes Newmarket as a centre of horse racing after the English Civil War, partly to replace the cavalry stock that had been lost in the English Civil War. Once you understand that, the direct relationship between the selective breeding of running horses and the development of cavalry horses, you suddenly realise this isn't in a sense just the museum of a sport. It actually illustrates a wide range of national history. And that's in a sense incumbent in our new title of Palace House Newmarket, the National Heritage Centre for Horse Racing and Sporting Art. Well, in terms of timetable, we're halfway through the build, so we've got another six months until the end of 2015, and then we delivered a beautiful new building, and then we have a year of specialist exhibition and fit-out. So that's when we put the AV kit, the computer-generated displays, the interactives, the specialist exhibition showcases, and the exhibits. As I say, we've got 8,000 objects we've got to move from the present museum across the road to the new museum. So that all takes place over 2015. So we're looking to be open to the public early 2016, with a formal opening around about spring 2016. I mean, we're really excited for us who've been working on the project for so long to see basements being dug, concrete piles, steel work going up. It really has a, a reality now which you can see on the fly-through as you see the buildings taking shape in front of you. It's really exciting for us. But what we're saying in a sense is not just a museum, it's a museum but so much more. It's art gallery, museum, life horses, paddocks, special events. It's a whole heritage centre. Mm -hmm.